So Hollywood is known for their dolly shots. And I'm willing to bet that you've probably seen a few dolly shots or two in your favorite movies. But as a budget filmmaker that's trying to make creative content and do some storytelling, how can you execute a dolly shot in your footage? Well, today I have a product that goes right on your tripod. It's called a tripod dolly, and it's made by Small Rig. Let's dive in. So not all of us have the time, resources, budget to build a track or guide dolly. So a tripod dolly is a great way to kind of mimic that dolly shot and have that versatility at a good price point. But it's also a good tool to have in your toolbox just in general. So today I have this small rig tripod dolly. And real quick, I'm not sponsored by Small Rig. They didn't send this out. They're not paying me to do this. This is something that I bought for a recent shoot that we were working on where I realized we probably will need a dolly shot and I did not have the time to build it. I literally had to go the next morning and this thing was being offered overnight. So I took a chance on it and here it is. So it's actually pretty well made. It has steel where it's needed, where it's necessary, but there's also some plastic. Now it comes in at around 60 to 70, even $80 at times, but I've seen it as low as 60. It's usually around 70 bucks. And of course the price reflects the build quality. But overall, it's pretty good. I mean, I have nothing to say bad about it as far as quality. It's basically this universal design that has a bunch of rollerblade wheels on it. I'm pretty sure they're rollerblade wheels and it works really, really well. It's universal, so I've had it on my fluid head tripod. I've had it on my tribal tripod, handles everything just fine. And I like it. We've used it on a couple of shoots now and ironically, the shoot that I actually needed it for, that I bought it for, we didn't actually end up needing it that day. So we had some spare time at the end and we decided to do some test footage between the dolly, the tripod dolly, and my Ronin 4D, which if you guys don't know, the Ronin 4D is a cinema camera that has a gimbal and a fourth axis stabilization. That's just simply amazing. It gives you dolly-like shots and really complicated high budget shots handheld. So I figured it'd be really cool to check it out. And we had this particular scene where the actor was gonna convey a lot of emotion. So we thought a dolly pushing, you know, up onto his face would convey that emotion to the audience. And we took a couple of test shots. And that's what I wanna show you guys right now. Here's some footage using the Ronin 4D and the fourth axis stabilization and some footage with the tripod dolly. So to my eyes, the Ronin 4D did an amazing job. I'm so impressed, so happy with my Ronin 4D. With the tripod dolly, it was just a tad bit more dolly-like, but really hard to really notice the difference unless it's being pointed out to you. So I think it's a huge win. Okay, now let's talk about some pros and cons. Well, starting off with the pros. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's affordable, it's versatile, and it gives you great results. It's something you can just throw in your bag or keep with you on a shoot or take it with you if you're not sure if you're gonna need it or not. And it doesn't take up that much space. It's a great tool or an additional tool in your toolbox. Okay, now let's talk about some cons. The wheels are a bit small. They're rollerblade wheels, it's kind of obvious. So you have to make sure that you're on good terrain. This is not an all-terrain vehicle here. I wish the wheels were a little bit bigger, more beefier. Now it's not too finicky. If you're on cement or concrete or wood floors or you know a hard level surface, you're fine. If you take it out on grass, eh, it's not really gonna do that great. I do wish the wheels were bigger, but then again, that kind of takes away from it being compact. The biggest con that I can think of is the wheels do bind. And that's because of the inherent design. It's a tripod, it has three legs. I wish it had four legs. I don't know how they would do that, right? And make it a tripod dolly. But because it has three legs, they're all initially fighting each other, grabbing that rotation. And then they all kind of align and point to where you wanna go. Now, if you're aware of it, you can plan ahead and plan that into your shoot. Just make sure you start first, get it going. Once it gets going, then you have smooth dolly-like footage. Now, personally, I do wish it was motorized, 
I mean, it just would have been cool, right? To have this thing that you can like press a button and I don't know, just have it go. That would be really expensive, be really bulky. How would you handle the payloads of different cameras? And isn't that basically just a giant slider at that point? So scratch that off. That's just me, I guess. Okay, I wanna close out the video by saying this does not replace a true glide or track dolly. That's always gonna be better. That's always gonna be built to whatever it is that you specifically need. But this is still a great tool to have in your toolbox that gives you some flexibility to get those creative shots that we're all trying to get. So you can tell your story. That's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody.